First of all, what do you look for in a political gathering? You look for those who constitute the leadership of the party. And you found out what happened yesterday, that all the leaders, all the leaders of the PDP that you know of, were all present at the Women Development Center, where we had the primaries. So I do not know the issue of a second candidate, imagine. For people who are used to you know, trading with the party over the years, we are not concerned about that. We're not bothered about that. As far as we're concerned, as leaders of the party, BOT members, we had the primary that was conducted at the Women Development Center by the party, and the, the primary took place and we were all present, and we voted and left. So please, I am not with you on the same page regarding a second Congress. In politics, you see the good, bad, and ugly. You can't, you know, do away with that. But you, at the end of the day, you will know which one is genuine, which one is real. At this stage, we don't even want to talk about what zoning or zoning did not do. Uh, a, a candidate has emerged, and our duty as the BOT, what we sought for all along was, look, let's do a process that can unite the party. So Mr. Valentine Ozibo has emerged, and the BOT is using this medium to congratulate Mr. Valentine Ozibo and say to him, congratulations, However, he has a unique duty, unique duty to bring all the aspirants together. And we as BOT members, when my colleagues speak, you also hear that, we as BOT members also have a duty in ensuring that the party is united so that at the end of the day, the party can return to power after almost 16 years. We as BOT members, We've been looking at the processes. Um, like I said, you, there's no way you can achieve 100%. But however, we want to look at what the complaints that have been made by aspirants, and we'll see how we can bond them. You know, uh, if the, the complaints are those complaints that we can uh, plead with them to drop, we'll definitely plead with them to drop. Um, you, you ask yourself, why did we come about superdelegates? It's because there is still existing in the party some degree of rascality. And people must be sanctioned. People, when people do the wrong things, you sanction them. And we're not going to continue like this. These are part of the issues which we as BOT will also take over. We'll, we'll take them with other leaders of the party. We'll join hands together with other leaders of the party to ensure that the right thing is done in Alhambra State, to ensure that there's discipline. You can't run a political party without, without disciplining members, without sanctioning members who do wrong things. Some of us, you know, some of us started politics with the founders of this country. And we know what discipline means in a political party. So we're not going to encourage in discipline. We're going, as BOT, we are the conscience of the party. And we must always be found speaking the truth at all times. Those who are used to uh, doing that are the ones that you said conducted a, a congress somewhere. I, I don't even know where they did that, you know. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the days of litigations are over. You know, um, we, we have been collating complaints, and as the conscience of the party. Our duty is to make sure that when, when we collect all the complaints, we get them together. We we'll speak to members. We want a united PDP. You know, we want a united PDP. We don't want people carrying court judgments in their pockets and running about the place like, uh, uh, you know, lose uh, character.
practice and all that. It's because the party did not sanction people who went to court. Because there is a provision that if you take the party to court, you are disciplined. It's because the party did not do that. That's why we encourage them to get to the point where they got to, where you know, where almost uh, 3,000 delegates were disenfranchised. Now, you still need to go back to those delegates because they are members of the party. You need to speak to them. And that's why the BOT, we've been here, we didn't sleep until about 3.30 this morning. We have to get to all the uh, members of the party with all their leaders, you know, so that we can talk to them, appeal to them. They were all looking forward to this process. And all of a sudden, somebody who is used to doing the same thing again and again went to court and put the whole party in disarray. So our duty is to immediately hold everybody together. That's why I said uh, uh, Mr. Valdos also has a duty by starting with his colleagues, his other aspirants, bring them together, assure them you know, that he will be willing to take everybody on board. So once that is done, I don't think we have a problem. All we end up to face is, look, those who went to court to create this problem, what do we do? And we just have to sit down with the party leadership that we can't take this any longer. We can't take this any longer. Because it seems as if they encouraged it.